Hello. Wait for me. Okay. Okay. Y'all wait for Where's Bree? Bree? She's oh, putting her fine. earbuds up. Whatever. So we are at Central Market. Can I just point something out? Notice how she's never with us to intro our videos. Oh, whatever. Anyways, Aww. we are at Central Market. Hold up. I have a question. Fort Worth. Does anybody want to replace a spot on Taylor Girl Fashion? No. <laughs> Will they be at our interest? All right, let's go. All right. So it is definitely a Texas day, nice and hot. And we are getting ready to head into one of my favorite grocery stores. We are not getting anything cold unless like absolutely necessary. Texas. Unless it can be warm for a little while because again, Texas heat and we are- Cold food Okay, together. so she rewrote the Arabian Nights song from the first Aladdin. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it goes Arabian Nights. Uh, Texas more often than night. Than not, more like, often than not are hotter than hot. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Texas so, yeah, we, we rewrote it. Uh, Texas nights. Or, yeah. Like Texas, Texas days. More, more often, often than not are hotter than hot. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Easy so any, we're going oh, to her please. ice skating afterwards. And then it wasn't video. <sighs> we're going to her ice skating afterwards, therefore we are not getting anything cold. Uh, Alright, here we go guys. Is this cart girl? I wish I could draw that well. They actually have an artist who does that. My friends are brought into them. You know what? They should just hire me instead. No, she's pretty cool. This is like my favorite area because you can get so many things here that you cannot get elsewhere. And the kids can get food for a dime. Ten a dime. Or two nickels. Yeah, or ten pennies. That's right. Oh, corn! They actually cut that corn pretty well, too. Yep. It's cheap. No, you're good. Ah, I wonder what the spice level is on this. Like, I have to look that up. Scotch bonnets, remember that. Because maybe that'll be the next hot pepper challenge for Vea. Sounds good. I've done Serrano's. I've never even heard of those. I've heard of those, but never Poblanos are the things that you make, um... They're not very spicy. Oh, yeah. They are made the seeds. Chili, uh, yeah. Chili Rayana. Yeah. Okay. Tad. 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 Not very spicy at all. Yeah, bell peppers. We have them all the time. You. What is this? Our mini cucumbers. I yes, you can get some rain. What's a fava bean? A fava bean? A fava bean? I don't know. But look, it's like it's like a giant green bean, like a green bean on steroids. Look at this. Wow. Green bean on steroids. Veggie tails. No. Veggie tails when they are teenagers and they dye their hair. Veggie tails when they're 50 and are super old. <laughs> Wow, 50 is super old. I don't know. Cheaper than cool. Oh, here, I'll play it. So, yeah, we have the veggie tail um, age categories. <laughs> so, on top of that, they got some samples. So, I got this weird cherry here. It's like white, yellow, like it's yellow and red. And it's really pretty. What you got, Mama? I got um, tomato with goat cheese. Ooh, goat cheese. You're so funny. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, they got some goat cheese and, um, and honey goat cheese. And, okay, okay. <laughs> then we got that. Then we got this tomatoes with some, I think, vinegar. Balsamic. Thank you for telling this, man. Have a good day. Oh, yeah, they got jazz music, too. Mama, I'm in New Orleans now with this music. Mm -hmm. And this cherry that I got is really tart and I love it. I like tart stuff. Oh, the okay, so they have this thing called lemonade apples over here. 
and like it's supposed to taste it's an apple but it's supposed to take like taste kind of like lemons and so it tastes it actually does and i had one the other day and it's really good my life goal is to taste every single flavor of apple so you have that then we have some lemonade that Brady already got us. It was really sweet, but like it was pretty good too. And sun dried tomatoes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things that I really like about Central Market is that they have a ton of different apple flavors in addition to all the other great vegetable stuff that they have. Um, Nevea got a lemon apple with a lemonade. Time. Huh? This time. I got a clean apple because I'm a clean, and now as of after I eat that one, they will only have four flavors here that I have not had. All right, so we're gonna keep on going, show you a little bit more of the market. So over here we have the fish section and the meat section, and if you want pretty much any kind of exotic meat, you are gonna find it at this grocery store. kangaroo. Um. No, not that exotic, but they have want, like. I kind of want to try it. They have more. How about this? They don't necessarily exotic, but high end. They have wagyu. Um, and they have lamb chops. Lamb chops. They have wagyu. Uh, they have they have duck feet, duck confit. They have. I think it's squirrel. No. They have rabbit. They did have rabbit. And you know, you know, we're here in Texas where we can't get a lot of stuff that you can get in other places. So one of the things that I really like that they have is over there, they have Scrapple, which you can find in Delaware, Delaware Pennsylvania area. Yeah, I've never had it, but uh, maybe it's on my list. I might venture out next year. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. If as it is, my competition team, which includes her, is going to have to eat... Um, Dried grasshoppers, or was it? I don't know. It's dried grasshoppers or dried crickets. It was grasshoppers. Oh my gosh, from it. No, I couldn't. This go is, ahead. This is my new friend, Boyce. He's gonna tell us how to make jam. Jelly. Okay, go yeah, ahead. So you wanted to make blackberry lemonade jam, right? Yeah. So you need the usual suspects. You need sugar, blackberries, juice of some kind, preferably blackberry juice if you can find it. Okay. Pectin. And then to get that lemonade flavor, you want to add lemon zest and more lemon juice than that. And then you just cook it in can. All right. And this is why we come here, because we have great friends like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Okay. This is your For all of you chocolate lovers out there, this is the chocolate section. Keep going, keep also, going, keep going, keep going. But I have to be tell you the truth. The chocolate section is not mine. I like to go. This. Oh yeah. Right here is the chocolate section. Okay, what was the one that I got? The rest of it doesn't matter. I mean, this this is my favorite flavor because it's one of the very few flavors I've had. But it's freaking amazing. So, I, I had these for almost a year and did not give them any of them. And didn't realize that until last paycheck and so I went and bought them some. So let's do you want to get yours again or do you want to try something different? My favorite is the coffee one, but I haven't seen it the last couple of times. I don't know. I like that one a lot. Like, okay, so get that one. Oh, we could do this seven. one since Brie wanted to do it. All right, that's fine. Let's do the orange. Brie. Yeah. Yeah. And since it's two for seven, let's go ahead and get one more. And I want to try the peanut butter. Where is it? Brie, I got the orange. Right. Also, they have people with samples. And we love samples. More samples, but... Oh, Mom. Okay. Oh, I know why they wrapped them in gold. Another one of our favorite picks, another one of our favorite picks that we get when we come to Central Market is the cauliflower crackers from, from the ground up. I'm going to put links to each of their individual websites so in case you do not live in um, Texas, ordering. you can still get it. Yes. Amazon it girl. Alright, so which one are you girls going to get? The it's cheddar, the nacho, or sea salt? You want sea salt? Yeah. Well, we got it. Okay, cool. If you agree, then I will do that. Dallas, one of the things, one of the places that I went was a local like mom and pop, huh? Pop was a mom and pop uh, store called 
Oh, oh, it's Urban Acres. Rooster. Yeah, Urban Acres. Urban Acres. And, and they had all these chickens, and I love the chickens. Yes. And they recommended that I try the Rosemont Crest. And I have honestly never looked back. And now tell us how it smells. Let let the viewers smell it. How does it smell? It smells with, with it has key flavors of brown sugar, ripe cherry, and herbs. Ooh, I like my coffee a little bit on the darker side, not so much on the sweeter side. Oh no, that smells amazing. Dude. I like this one. Oh, we're, while we're talking about coffee and all sorts of stuff. Oh, also look, have hold up. No, the mokis are gone. The mokis are gone. They're probably up front. Oh, yeah. They, they have mokis. They have a tea section, which is really nice for the tea lovers out there. Lots of tea. Get your tea, British tea. Don't dump it or, in the harbor this time. Or New England tea because when I, we lived in Pennsylvania, Mama. we are at the store, the, the restaurant that I worked at. We had a coffee section and a tea section. And a lot of people got tea. Hey, Mama. What? Don't dump your tea in the harbor this time, Mike. Um, Wait, that was that was an Australian accent. I am sorry for I, that. I so this is the bread area where they have samples. Make the bread. Buy lots and lots of bread items. Alright, so I want you girls to go try some. Why you? Because we always try bread stuff. Yep. They have a big, big thing of butter right there. They also have some chips today. Oh, what you do? Well, you came on a really busy day. I don't know if it's like the time that we came because normally when we come here, there's not a lot of people. But we usually come later. Like, I have work. Sometimes you got what? I have sun dried tomato basil bread. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. Here, I'll give you half of mine. It's got a little bit of spice. Definitely Actually, tomato and yes. definitely basil. And I love basil. So, overall, pretty good. And homemade butter. Try it. Thank you. What kind of bread? We're having a try. Like, I think they're roasted tomato. That makes sense, they're on our tomato. Okay, ooh, it is very good. Please tell me those brownies are samples. Now, to the pastry. Alright, I'm gonna start over here so you can get kind of a good look. Oh no, Leah. <laughs> what? In my area of Texas, the most popular thing are the macarons, which are actually are back this way. So I'm gonna uh, just look and thank you. Right here. And maybe I'll do a video soon on how to make those. Oh, can we make a lemon macaron? That looks good. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But yes, these are very, very beautiful. Another point to make chocolate. Yeah. Go ahead. So I have a point to make because it irritates me to no living in. <laughs> macarons and macaroons are very different things. Macaroons are these weird what? things that have coconut on them. And macarons are French and they're things you think when you say macaroons. Get it straight people, thank you. Kills me. I really She's hate so hair. <laughs> when you're ready. Alright, so now is the cheese section, which is obviously my section. But I don't think we have any cheese samples today, so let's be depressed. But we have aged to your Gouda. And more cheese over there with the pasta. Come on, come on. Come on. Please grab the pasta. So. We have cheese. And cheese. And cheese. And where's that cheese mommy? Because it's over here. Ah. Mommy, I have a present for you. Camembert. Do you want it? Put it in no. Or? Absolutely not. Let me tell you. <laughs> Camembert, I think Smell it. Have... Camembert well, is a very, um, yeah, yeah, she wants to smell it. Punch it. Uh, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's, Nevaeh wanted to try it because of the show that she liked, and so I bought some, and promptly ate no more than the one little bite that I took. Okay, so, it smells bad. If you're from France, you love it. You well, and it's probably, no, I want to ask, if you're from France, do you make it, do you get it fresh? Is that why it tastes good, or do you like the pungent taste? What is it about camembert that you really like? Camembert. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. Sorry. She said. Yeah. That. You gotta get the French right. Camembert. Anyways. Um. 
it's like it smells bad the first taste is kind of bad the aftertaste is really good but that's about it yeah and it was funny though at school i would like i left it in the fridge and kids would open my fridge and they'd be like oh it smells so bad miss taylor and i just laughed all right on to the next now we have the area for all you floral lovers including my mother's dress but we will show you these are my one dollar rose day. So those are my favorite. Each rose is a dollar. And the orange oh, roses are my favorite roses. roses. And they have faces. They have blue roses, but like I would totally sell for a white rose just because you can make it pretty. Then they have a bunch of faces to put your beautiful flowers in for okay. any occasion, even getting married. And they have more than just roses. I mean, they have just walk on. Those purple ones are really pretty. Thank you. It's like almost color.